Israel's instruction to the Palestinians first to move south and then to move west and then to move north. But basically that instruction, which has displaced 1.8 million people, tells the Israelis that any civilians that remains in that area or Israel assumes that any civilian that remains at the, in that area is either a participant in hostilities and therefore can be killed or a human shield, namely someone that is being used to shield the legitimate military target. And that allows Israel to relax the repertoires of lethal violence that it uses against these people. And in a court of law, that can be used to justify the wholesale killing of civilians. <laughs> Israel does more than even it's required. It drops flyers uh, over Gaza to tell the people to vacate the area. It makes phone calls to residential um, civilians to vacate the area. Uh, Israel calls to vacate the area. Once Israel took these precautions, it's allowed to take down the building. If civilians prefer to stay, they take the, uh, their own responsibility. This is a complete distortion of international law. If you consider also the fact that Israel is an occupier, which I think is the relevant legal framing here, Israel has obligations under occupation law, um, not only to end the occupation, which has now been ongoing for 56 years, but also to protect the occupied people. And we also know that Israel has no right to claim self-defense in accordance with Article 51 of the UN Charter with respect to attacks emanating from a territory that it occupies. And this notion was upheld by the International Court of Justice in its 2004 ruling on the legality of the wall. And so regardless of which way you look at this, there is absolutely no legal defense to committing a genocide. אנחנו מטילים מצור מוחלט על העיר עזה. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. הכל סגור. אנחנו נלחמים בחיות אדם ואנחנו נוהגים בהתאם. We have the president of the state saying there's no innocent civilian or there's no uninvolved civilian in the Gaza Strip. So these kind of remarks do point at it intent. And they, if, if it gets to a court of law, then these kinds of remarks become very important in terms of the genocidal aspect of this war. A lot of people in Israel will not feel bad for the Palestinians, but yet the leadership in Israel feels for the Palestinian people, and they allow whatever the minimal uh, humanitarian aid to be provided to the population in Gaza.
the law does create a vision of a certain kind of justice that we want to aspire for. We want to aspire towards a world where human rights for all are protected. The immense scale of suffering in Gaza, there must be an immediate ceasefire. Yeah.